Uh, I uh, assume you heard the news. Are you talking about Eve? Yeah. Yeah. You okay? I don't know. I I wasn't expecting that. Um. I imagine Fjogur is gonna be next. Yeah, probably. Uh. I mean, it is what it is, right? Yeah. I'm pretty sure most of us told Eve that that was an option for her, and we're not going to hate her for it. Yeah, I mean, uh, I'm sure we're all going to stand by it, you know, it just, it doesn't make this feel any better. I know. Uh, and I wouldn't be surprised if Fifi wants to head out too. I mean, yeah. from her perspective, she comes around and you guys argue, and it's not your fault. I mean, some of it is, let's be honest, but some of it's my fault too, you know? Yeah. <sighs> uh, if you ever felt a type of way about Fifi, uh, now's the time to talk to her. Uh, but the thing with Eve is we all thought that this was going to happen, right? I mean, we didn't think it would happen, but we all said we'd be okay with it. Yeah. I Fifi mean, is it... a bit different. Fifi is, uh... Fifi probably won't leave on good terms. Because of the fighting, right? <clears throat> yeah. But, like I said, uh, I know you and her both have legitimate points to why you're fighting. Uh, I'll be honest, I don't know the full extent of it. And it really seems like it's just a you guys thing, you know? If... Yeah, yeah I don't know. But I'm not going to cheat Fifi any different, even though I think she'll probably do. Uh... I mean, all we can do is. I realize if you're in that, uh. The last month or so, I have. Unlock! Viewed things a lot differently. Uh. Lock! And. It's been a lot different. The last week. What do you mean? Uh, I don't know, like a good way to say this, because it just seems dramatic, and I'm not trying to be dramatic. I'm just trying to say how I'm feeling, but. How do I word this? I have accepted that in the next few weeks, at any moment, that I'm probably going to die. And, you know, it just puts things in a different perspective, you know? The second they invade that island, I'm not going to run from it. So do, does it look like they're going to invade? It's like a 97% chance. Oh, fuck. And is it worth dying for? Yes, it is. I refuse to live my life having someone tell me what I can or can't do.
what I want to accomplish is on that island. What can you accomplish when you're dead? Nothing. But I can't accomplish anything if all that shit over there is gone either. I'm not going to make a difference with a gun. That's true, but there's still more things you could do, and this doesn't have to be the place that you go out at. And just because you lose that stuff doesn't mean you're going to lose everything. I don't know. Uh, anyway, point is, uh, a lot's going to happen in the next coming weeks. And I say next coming weeks as a best case scenario. It could happen in an hour from now. I don't know. It's in the Senate's hands. Have you heard anything back from them? Uh, no. But if I'm just guessing here, uh, the Senate is going to take the greater police department's word over mine. Probably. I am talking to a few people. Uh, I'm finding out a lot. <laughs> I'm finding out a lot about people. Like what? Like, like in general? I'm finding out that a lot of people really do not care that. I have access to bombs and rockets, and they're still willing to die for me. Like people on the island? Are you talking about people in Los Santos? In Los Santos. A lot of people are willing to help me with this. For almost no gain of their own. Are you willing so to let knows? all those people die for the island? I told them that I would not ask them to fight for that, and they're basically telling me that I don't have a choice. So they're, they're planning on fighting with you no matter what? Yeah. I mean... They'll bring up how I've helped them before, and I haven't asked for anything, and they want to. I've told a few people that there are just some people that I won't let fight, like you, and anyone in the guild. Uh, I tell them that you understand that this is treason, and it's going to be like a minimum of 30 years if we lose. And they say some shit like, you know, you don't understand me if you think I care about that. And if it's important to me, then it's important to them. You know, I was talking to Rama yesterday and he kind of mentioned that he was interested in helping you as well. And I said, you know, you know, that's treason, right? And he said, yeah, I don't care. Yeah, there are definitely some people that would probably have that thought. I mean, I don't know. He also was telling me, so I guess he was talking to the Emperor, and the Emperor was trying to like get info out of him about you and stuff, and Rami didn't know why, because he didn't know about all the beef going on. And he like, the Emperor was like asking him if Rami and you were good, and... Rami was like, yeah, like told him, like, yeah, you guys are good. And the Emperor, like, Rami said he noticed the Emperor, like, switched it up and then, like, just immediately took off and wouldn't talk to him after that. <laughs> uh, yeah. 
Um, anyway, we can talk about this a bit later. Um, I gotta talk with Pilvis on the island. Okay, uh, quick note. So remember that guy that got arrested for the weed at ICC yesterday? Yeah. Guess where he works. Where? What's his name? His name is Clark, like he told us, and he is Rooster Security. Really? Yeah. Yeah, I, I put in a request to find his name with the lawyers, so... I think Lando got it, because he said his name is actually Clark, and he saw that he works for the Rooster Security, so... You can only imagine security, why we huh? why we think he did that, then. Mm, we should put up some cameras at the house. Oh, so that's the other thing, is that Lando gave the city, some city guards...